tragedy in Imo as seven people reportedly died on the spot. It was a rather black Thursday in Imo State as no fewer than seven people have been recorded dead in a ghastly motor accident which happened around Warehouse Junction, Olu Road, Oweri. Several eyewitnesses reported that a diesel tanker fell and crushed a fully loaded minibus at a warehouse junction, killing about seven passengers and severely injured several others. Imo Social reported that the truck transporting diesel swayed off the road while trying to avoid prison officers' convoy and unfortunately collapsed on the shuttle bus loaded with commuters. However, the critically injured commuters were rushed to the Federal Medical Center FMC Oweri where they are being treated. Three of the diseases have been identified while others are still unknown. May their souls and other faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. And may God strengthen his healing hands on the injured person. Amen. May God have mercy. May God have mercy. May God have mercy. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Look at what we are facing. Look at what we are seeing. May God never allow this to happen again. May God never allow this to happen again. What is this? We never begin for this. In this new year, God forbid, it will never happen again. In the mighty name of Jesus, whosoever that has sent this kind of a thing to us, we go back to that person. These people that are involved in this accident, they will all survive it. None of them will die. God will heal them. They will be saved in the name of Jesus. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Did they plan for this? They never did. They never planned for this. But look at what the devil has caused for them. Look at what the devil have done to them. Look at what the devil have just done. Can you imagine, my viewers? This is why it is said that if we are going out, let us commit all our movements in the hands of the master. Because him alone have the power to decide and to do all things. Only him have the power to decide and make all things to be possible. Who is he that can that can do that can do uh, do it? Only God can do it, and no man can do it. My viewers, see, I tell you this: that these people that you see now that are involved in this accident, they never planned it. They may plan the journey, but they never plan that this is going to happen to them. They never knew that this is going to happen to them. This is an unexpected accident, but see where they have met themselves. That is by the way. Coming back to our government, my dear viewers, I said something early this, early last year. That was, no, no, I said, I said this early, no, no, the moment they called off the COVID-19, that's when I said it. I said, now that the COVID-19 has been called off, our roads are dilapidated. They are bad because vehicles have not been passing on them. So, before any vehicle should be allowed to pass on those roads, it is ideal that, that road, those roads should be paid attention to. I know that the president is repairing road, but not the old roads. Do you understand now? So, it would be ideal that before we start driving on those roads, most especially the interstate road, those roads should be repaired. And how, how will it be repaired? Now, we already know that the federal government are trying in terms of repairing the road. We, on our own side, we, have, we support them because waiting, waiting for them to come and, 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 um, and uh, walk on the road for us. Hmm? 
adjust the road, cause it not to um, do it over, just to adjust it. It will take time. And many of us will want to start traveling and all of that, especially those that are doing business and those interstate men. So I said that it would be ideal if we can bring up this idea of, um, of paying to 200 Naira once in a month. There should be um, a kiosk on the road that will be collecting in form of a toll gate. So we're collecting these to 200 Naira from interstate drivers once in a month so that that money can now be compiled and used to, um, to repair the road. And used to repair the road. And used to work on the road. You understand? So when this money is, is, is enough, they will now use it to work on the road. At least it will help save life. So where am I driving at? I'm driving at these accidents that has just happened now. It is possible that it's going to be, it, will be, it, will, it may be that because of the bad road that is, um, that, 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 that these people uh, drove on that caused this accident. You understand? Nothing is impossible. It may be. It may be. So for this not to repeat itself, Please, my dear viewers, I beg you, let us pick up anything that you see I say on this channel. Try to comment, try to say something, try to support it. Because it's for our own good. It's for the good of the, of the, of the whole people. And that is the reason for the creating of this channel. That is the reason for creating this channel. But some of us don't understand. It's for the good of everyone. It's for your good. This is my good. This for everyone's own good. Okay, look at this that has that has just happened. Look at this that has just happened. Maybe it may be the, for the road. Maybe it may be the road. You see that if someone has informed the, 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 the driver that look oh, this particular road is bad though, please don't take it oh. You see that that is information. The people that said the, the learned people that said information is power, information is wealth, they know what they're saying. They know what they're talking about. We are the ones that, that has refused to understand them and, and the area they are heading to. It's for good, it's for your good, it's for my good, it's for everyone's good. So let us build up that attitude of doing it right, of working things right. And you know, I know God in his infinite mercy and in his love will help us all. This accident that has just happened, I know that in the name of Jesus, these persons will not die. They will all be alive. Not will happen to them in the name of Jesus. You see, we never pray for this, so nobody prayed for it. You never prayed for it. I never prayed for it. We never subscribed for it. But look at it has happened. You see that? So the only thing we just need to be doing is to be praying and asking for God's mercy and protection, which I know that He is going to do because He make He does everything and He makes everything to be possible. So please, my viewers, what is your take on this? Please. Do me free to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.